Hey guys, we are here with Angel Competition Bikinis today at the Contest Prep Center in Denver, Colorado doing a pop-up shop. So we're gonna tell you how to pick the right cut, how to pick the right color, what separates people from making the right decisions in their suits and the wrong decisions in their suits. And one of the things I hate seeing is a girl who has an awesome physique and picks the wrong color suit, the wrong cut, it doesn't fit her right and it hurts her total showing. Um, you know, you can win or lose based on picking the right suit. So I want to make sure we cover that. Hopefully gives you some good info. She's going to help me here with yep. the actual cuts. You want to introduce yourself? My name's Kat. I'm the suit consultant specialist at Angel Competition Bikinis. Super fancy title. <laughs> <laughs> so first let's go into the cut of the suit. Okay, so you're going to go over the cuts with us. Yep. So, so this is going to be our biggest cut for bikini. This is our moderate cut. You can tell that this has a lot of coverage. It's about 50% coverage on most people, which is great for first time competitors. However, we don't usually recommend it for a show. It's usually for like a swimsuit. This is going to be our next biggest cut. This is our Brazilian cut and it's about 30% coverage, closer to 40 on some girls. This is a great option for first time competitors in bikini. That's our recommended cut. Our other recommended cut and our most popular cut is gonna be our pro cut. This one has about 30 to 20% coverage. This particular suit in the front actually is a high hip, which is a new thing that we have right here. There's an inch more fabric right there, so it sits higher up on your hips, which is becoming a really popular style. One of the things I find that with girls using the suits that are really small, like the micro cuts and then the um, but just a smaller, where there's less fabric here, is that if your glutes aren't in condition and they're, you're basically your cheeks are touching in between the fabric, it actually makes you look like you're less conditioned than you are. Even if you're in decent shape and your glutes are still holding body fat, I typically won't have someone go with this thin of a cut down low because it, it makes their glutes touch and then the suit kind of disappears and it makes them look like they're a little bit softer than they are. So for that in that scenario, I like them going typically with this suit. And then when they hit their conditioning, like when you have that pro level tight conditioning and your glutes aren't touching in between the suit anymore, then this is a, uh, I'll, I'll use this one first. I'll use this one before we get to that level. Make sure you pick your suit selection based on your conditioning of where you expect to be. Okay, so that's, I think that's super important because a lot of times people will see these top level pros and they're like, oh, they use a micro pro. I'm going to use a micro pro. Well, they've been doing it for five years. They have no body fat on their glutes. And so, yeah, they can use a micro pro the whole suit will show and they don't look, it doesn't make them look worse, it makes them look better. So that's one of the tips that I think is super important. The other thing I think we should cover is your, is the gems. Yep. And how you're using your crystals. So. so a lot of girls on stage will go with colors like greens, blues, and purples. I think those look good on most girls. Turquoise is a popular color. It's really bright. It looks fantastic on a lot of girls. Teal and electric blue, those are always nice. As far as crystal coverages go, one of our most popular crystal designs is going to be our Angel Pro Multicolor, which is going to have a mix of different suit colors on it, so it's going to be have a lot of depth. As a coach, um, my whole thing is I always try to do what the top people are doing. Okay, so that's kind of like as an athlete, if you're trying to get to the top level, I think that you need to leave your, I look good in this color, I like this color the best, like out of your whole mindset. Because it doesn't really matter. Think of this as a uniform while you're competing in a competition. That's what it is. So when you go, when you're playing baseball, you don't pick out your baseball uniform, you pick whatever they give you, right? Like, that's what you do. It's the same type of thing, okay? So yes, you have a lot of choice in terms of some colors, but you're pretty limited because you have to look at what you want, best contrast, what's doing well at the pro level, what are the top girls looking like? And if you see them, you don't see a whole lot of different color variations in the crystals. So I keep it simple. Whatever the top girls are doing, what the trends are winning at, that's the colors we're gonna pick, and also whatever contrasts the skin best. So um, as far as like, oh, well, black's my favorite color, I don't care. <laughs> if black's your favorite color, I care about you winning, and that's what you're trying to do is win. So like, we're gonna get you some colors that have suits. So a lot of the times people use, will use black. Um, I personally haven't had very much luck in black, so I just don't, have, as a rule of thumb, I don't kind of don't let anyone go in black. I pick from five colors, and that's green, blue, turquoise, and purple, but all the, the colors that have contrast, not like a deep, dark, like midnight blue, that's pretty much black. There's not any pop or contrast to that. Um, and the other color is red, but it has to be the right red. So this, this would be like the right red for contrast. And then a lot of times you'll see girls kind of go in like this kind of red. And it's just so dark, it doesn't, it, when you have that dark tan on, it really doesn't create any pop. There's no like contrast to it. So I don't have any of our girls in this red, only in like this red. So just because it contrasts the skin so much better. So another thing that to think about when you're doing it is what contrasts my skin the best 
you know, and it's different for like your color tone. So some girls have like yellow undertones to their skin and I kind of stay away from colors like green from them, obviously yellow you stay away from. So a girl with like more yellow undertones to her skin, I would go with like a, a brighter blue or maybe even like a bright turquoise, like maybe like this family here. And it's gonna be decent contrast. So I would even stay away from some of the reds in that with that color tone to her skin. So, um, so the colors that I typically will go with red, um, this kind of green where it's bright green, like this kind of where there's bright green but not like a dark green. And then I never mix gem colors for, for my girls. I like it to be, because I look at what are the pros doing, what are the top pros doing, and it's always the same color stones as the suit. If you look at the top six, you don't see a whole lot of different color variations in them. It's always same color suit, same color stones, maybe some AV crystals that has some color tone to it, but it's always the same color crystal. So you don't see a lot of like crazy decorated designs. Like this is, uh, you, this is, I mean, I don't see a lot of this on the pro level, like right. at, at least the girls that are doing well on the pro yeah, level. Yeah, and so. a lot of those suits are gonna be our jewel tone suits, like this one up here. The crystal colors are gonna match the fabric perfectly, which really looks great on stage. Yeah, I think that's the best way to go. Yeah. I think honestly, like when you have uh, suits that have a lot of like, especially the white crystals or the, or the clear crystals, mm -hmm. whatever they're called, those ones are really distracting because they, they flash so much light back that it becomes like too blingy. And I've seen girls do like, full suits like that and it just looks like a, a disco ball on stage is a little bit too much. So when you have these color tones, they don't they don't create as much light, I think, mm -hmm. the ones that are colored. So I stay away from those. Um, now let's look at the suit. So when we're talking about a blue suit, um, it has to be in like this kind of blue, like where there's a bright blue. Oftentimes you'll see a girl get a blue suit and it's just so dark there's no there's no pop to it. So remember this is a, a fitness model contest. This is what bikini is, it's fitness modeling at a higher level. So when you pick your colors, you have to pick colors that are bright, that are like cheery, that have contrast, you don't get lost in the crowd. And you gotta remember that you're like really dark on that day. So you're, the colors will look a little different on you on that day. So like this is blue, but the contrast with it and the pop to the color isn't there versus this blue. Like if you wore these two suits next to each other, you would look totally different in this suit than you would in this suit, and you would just have that pop and contrast to you on stage where they would get where you get noticed. And especially you girls who are doing like national shows, the national show scene, you know, when you have 40, 50 girls on stage and you're like, oh, I'm gonna go in black or whatever color I wanna go, like you gotta understand this girl is gonna stand out more than this girl because of the pop to the suit. And she just stands out. And that's why you see these in the top level. The pros are all wearing like purple, green, bright blues. Like uh, East is wearing like a turquoise blue. It's yep. it's the contrast, you know. It's, that's what it is. So, and oftentimes we even see girls on a pro level like maybe wear a black suit for a year, or two years, whatever, and then switch up their suit color and all of a sudden start doing better. You know, that's it's a really common thing. What about like tops? What about the coverage of top? So tops, you're gonna definitely want something that's gonna fit you well. But just keep in mind that you always can stuff it. We have a bunch of different sizes for tops. For implants, we have a size skinny, which is really nice. Um, it definitely is a little bit more revealing look. Medium is going to be a good versatile size for mostly everybody. And then of course we have small and large as well, but you're definitely going to want to stuff it. That's going to kind of create the fullest look on stage. Now let's go into connectors. So connectors, we have a bunch of different options for connectors, but usually I typically recommend the simpler the better. I usually say less is more with connectors. So these two are going to be our most popular. This is our straight connector and our single straight connector. The single strand is going to help kind of emphasize your glutes a little bit more if you're shorter. And then the straight connector is going to kind of help tone it down if you have fuller glutes. Yeah. So as a, as a coach myself, I use a lot of this. This is probably like one of my more popular. Um, I don't use pretty much any of these. And then this one here is really popular too. This is kind of like a style that's been around for a long yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Ashley uses this and our girls love it too. I actually, this has grown on me a lot because of Ashley yeah. too. Mm -hmm. So I've been using this a lot lately and these are pretty much my go-tos. These two. Yeah, that's pretty much it, but I kind of almost never do a yeah. dangly. Um, there's other ones too that you'll see that have like dangles too. I never do this. I think it's distracting. I'm glad you guys don't even have it, you know? So um, in, in picking the, the perfect suit, remember, it's not just about like what you like and what you think is, is like, oh, I think that's pretty. It's about what works as my uniform on that day. What's gonna give me the best results? Oftentimes you'll see girls like, oh, I love pink. Pink's my favorite color. But on that day, it doesn't matter. Wear something pink after the show. <laughs> on that day, go for contrast. Go for what's been working on the pro level. Look at the top 10 in the Olympia. Look at what they're doing and, and make sure that it complements your skin in terms of contrast. So uh, if you're a darker athlete, you might be able to get away with lighter colors. And uh, you know, just, just make sure it has contrast. And don't try to change the game. You know, Don't try to change it up. 
you know, let someone else at the top level do that, and then you can start doing that later. <laughs> so any other advice you got before we sign out? I don't think so. That's it. So I've been working with Angel Competition Bikinis for, I want to say, four years now, and um, they've done really great job for my team. That's why I trust them. It's not even a sponsored ad. I don't even, I don't get paid from them. <laughs> But I'm, maybe I should try. <laughs> but uh, but it's just they take care of my people. I've never had an issue, and I've had a lot of issues with other suit makers. And the main issue, the main reason I went to Angels is that it was the communication and also the uh, I could count on it. And I had my last suit maker before Angels actually didn't get my girl her suit before Nationals. Got it to her the day of Nationals. Oh the day of, and we didn't know we were gonna have a suit. She drove all the way from Denver to Chicago because she couldn't get it to FedEx in time because she missed the cutoff. Oh she drove God. overnight, we're trying, we're all stressed out. I'm like, you know what, I'm done with this. Yeah. I want my suit two weeks in advance at least. I want to know I can count on them. I want a number I can call. So thanks, Angels, for taking care of my people. And uh, I will hope, look forward to a couple Thank more you years guys. with you guys. Yeah, of course. <laughs>